Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come abide in us and cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before our God and King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ, our God and King. Come, let us worship and bow down before him, Christ, our God and our King. How beloved are your tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God, for the sparrow has found herself in a house, and a turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will praise you to the ages of ages. Blessed is the man whose help is from you. In his heart he is disposed to go up to the valley of tears, to the place which he anointed. For the lawgiver shall give blessings. They shall go forth from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our defender, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be cast aside in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord God loves mercy and truth. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk in integrity. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Lord, you have been favorable to your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquities of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned from the fierceness of your anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and put away your anger against us. Will you be angry forever? Will you prolong your wrath from generation to generation? O God, will you turn? You will turn and will give us life that your people may rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to those who turn their hearts toward him. Surely his salvation is at the hand for those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth has sprung out of the earth, and righteousness has looked down from heaven. For the Lord will give what is good, and our land shall yield its fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down your ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, O my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I will cry to you all the day long. Give joy to the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy toward all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to my voice and my supplication. In the day of my trouble I cried to you, for you answered me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and you shall, glor and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Lead me in your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. For your mercy is great toward me, and you have delivered my soul from the lowest Hades. O God, transgressors have ri has risen up against me, and an assembly of violent men have sought my life, and have not set you before them. But you, O Lord, my God, are merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your handmaid. Show me a sign for good and let those who hate me see it and be ashamed because you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ our God, who at the ninth hour tasted death in the flesh for our sakes, slay our carnal will and save us. For my supplications come near before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. O Christ our God, who at the ninth hour tasted death in the flesh for our sakes, Slay our carnal will and save us. Let my petition come before you, O Lord. Deliver me according to your word. O Christ our God, who at the ninth hour tasted death in the flesh for our sakes, slay our carnal will and save us. ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O good one who were born of a virgin and endured crucifixion, who despoiled death by death and revealed the resurrection as God, do not disdain those whom you fashioned with your own hand. Show us your love for mankind, O merciful one. <coughs> Accept the entreaties on our behalf of the Theotokos who gave you birth and save, O Savior of a despairing people. For your holy name's sake, do not finally reject us. Do not annul your covenant. Do not take your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and for the sake of Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. When the robber saw the author of life hanging on the cross, he said, If he who is crucified with us were not God incarnate, the sun would not have hid its rays, nor would the earth have quaked and trembled. I pray you who endure everything, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Between the two robbers, your cross was a balance of justice. One was weighed down to hell by the weight of his blasphemy. The other floated up from his sins to the knowledge of theology. O Christ God, glory to you, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When the mother of the Lamb and Shepherd and Savior of the world saw him on the cross, she uttered tearfully, The world rejoices at receiving redemption but my insides are burning as I see your crucifixion, which you endure for all, O oh my Son and my God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. 
who without corruption gave birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, do not permit the spirit of laziness and meddling, the lust for power and idle talk to come into me. Instead, grant me, your servant, the spirit of prudence, humility, patience, and love. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed to the ages of ages. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall be filled. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are those who were persecuted for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are you, O men shall revile you and persecute you, and say all men are of evil against you falsely for my sake. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir hymns you and says, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come to him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir hymns you and says, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the choir of holy angels and archangels, with all the heavenly powers hymns you and says, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, 
who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the remission of sin. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Remit, forgive, pardon, O God, our offenses, willing and unwilling, in deed and in word, in knowledge and in ignorance, of the day and of the night, in mind and in thought, pardon them all, as you are good and love mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You were transfigured upon the mountain, and your disciples beheld your glory as far as they were able to bear it. O Christ our God, so that when they would see you being crucified, they would know that your passion was deliberate, and thus go out to all the world, preaching and proclaiming that you are, in truth, the Father's radiance. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community, to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace is their armor, the trophy invincible. Come, let us all laud Orthodoxy's newly shining star and the divine and newly built bulwark of the church. And in joyfulness of heart, let us sing his praises. By the working of the Spirit was he glorified and does pour forth the abundance, abundant grace of wondrous cures upon them that cry, Rejoice, O Father Nectarios. The boast of martyric contest, the worthy of crowns, even the glorious prize winners, have clothed themselves in thee, O Lord, for by their endurance of tortures, they turned back the lawless in defeat, and by divine power they received the victory from heaven. By their entreaties, O God, grant us thy great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, no sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O protection of Christians that never falls, intercession with the Creator that never fails, we sinners beg you, do not ignore the voices of our prayer. O good lady, we implore you, quickly come unto our aid when we cry out to you with faith. Hurry to intercession and hasten to supplication. O Theotokos, who protect now and ever those who honor you. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Christ our God, who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, long suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who love the just and show mercy to the sinners, who call all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Do you, the same Lord, receive also our supplications at this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments? Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels, so that being guarded and guided by their presence, we may arrive at the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For blessed are you unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May God have compassion on us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. L Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Holy Trinity, the consubstantial dominion, the indivisible rule and cause of every good, be well pleased even with regard to me a sinner. Strengthen my heart and grant it understanding and take away all defilement. Illumine my mind so that I may ever glorify, praise, worship, and say, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, give the blessing. May Christ, the true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-creating cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of the heavens, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy and glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of our father among the saints Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder worker, patron of this temple and parish, of the holy wonder-working unmercenary healers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yoikimenana, and of the holy martyr Matrona of Thessaloniki, whose memory we have celebrated, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and merciful and loves mankind. Ευλογημένη η Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Come, let us worship and bow down before our God and King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our God and King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our God and our King. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You have clothed yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heaven like a curtain, who roofs his upper chambers with waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establishes the earth on its sure foundation, who shall not be moved forever and ever, the deep covers it like a garment, the water shall stand upon the mountains. Before your rebuke they shall flee, at the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. They go up the mountains and down to the plains, to the place you established for them. You have set a boundary that they may not pass, neither shall they again cover the earth. He sends the springs into the valleys, the water shall run between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses shall await them to quench their thirst. The birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall call out from the midst of the rocks. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes grass to grow for the cattle and green are for the service of men, that he may bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine makes glad the heart of man, that he may make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nest. The heron's dwelling is foremost among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The rock is a refuge for the hares. He made the moon for seasons. The sun knows the time of its setting. You appointed darkness and it was night. In it shall all the beasts of the forest go forth. Young lions roaring for their prey, seeking their food from God. The sun rose and they gathered themselves together, and they shall lie down to sleep in their dens. Men shall go forth to his work and to his labor until evening. How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creation. This is the sea, great and wide. In it are creeping things innumerable, living things both small and great. 
There the ships are passing by, this dragon which you form to play in it. All things look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When you turn away your face, they shall be troubled. You shall take away their spirit, and they <coughs> shall die, and shall return to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord endure to the ages. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May my meditation be pleasing to him. As for me, I will rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners perish from the earth and transgressors that they shall be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows the time of its setting. You appointed darkness and it was night. How great are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this sacred metropolis, for this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. May you, Lord. Gracious and merciful Lord, forbearing and generous in mercy, hear our prayer and heed the voice of our entreaty. Give us a sign of your favor. Lead us in your way that we may walk in your truths. Gladden our hearts that we may be in awe of your holy name, for you are great in the wonders you perform. You alone are God, and among all deities, none is your like, O Lord. Mighty in mercy and benevolent in might, helping and comforting and saving all those who trust in your holy name. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Distress, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from unjust lips and from a deceitful tongue. What should be given to you, and what added to you for a deceitful tongue? The sharp arrows of the mighty one with the coals of the desert. Woe is me, for my sojourn is prolonged. I have dwelt among the ten tents of Kedar. My soul has long been a sojourner. Among those who hate peace, I was peaceable. When I spoke to them, they made war on me without a cause. I have lifted up my eyes to the mountains from whence my help shall come. My help shall come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let not your foot slip, and may he not slumber who keeps you. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be at your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not burn you by day nor the moon by night. May the Lord keep you from all evil. May the Lord keep your soul. May the Lord keep your coming in and your going out from this time to and forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, We will go into the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing in your courts of Jerusalem. 
Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, for there the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord as a testimony for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, thrones for the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and may there be prosperity among those who love you. May there be peace in your hosts and prosperity in your towers. For the sake of my brethren and my neighbors, I spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I sought your good. I have lifted up my eyes to you who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants are toward the hands of their masters, as the eyes of a handmaid are toward the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes toward the Lord our God, and so he takes the name of you. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than our fill of contempt. Our soul has had more than its fill. Let reproach come upon those who prosper, and contempt has come upon us. If the Lord had not been with us, but Israel not us, if the Lord had not been with us when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the water would have drowned us, our soul would have passed through a torrent, then our soul would have, would have passed through the water that cannot be withstood. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul has been delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Et cœur in idint Kyrie dei forme. Kyrie eleison. De la vous sous une eleison qui dia philoxoni mas au Theos de Sicharity. Kyrie eleison. Es panagia sa crown de perevlogimenis en box de spinis Simon Theotokos que pasen Marias et apandon ton agimi monersandes. E aftus que alilus que pasen din zoini mon. Christo te Theo para tho metha. Kyrie. The Lord, do not rebuke us in your wrath, nor chasten us in your anger, but deal with us according to your kindness of position as you love our souls. Guide us to the haven of your desire. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts to the knowledge of your truth and grant us to pass the rest of the day and the entire time of our life in peace and without sin at the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all your saints. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord shall be like the Mount Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem shall never be moved. Mountains are around her, and the Lord is round about his people from this time forth and forevermore. For the Lord will not allow the rod of sinners to be upon the lot of the righteous. Let the righteous stretch forth their hands in iniquity. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to the upright in heart. As for those who turn aside the crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the works workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we became like those who were comforted. Then was our mouth filled with joy and our tongue with exultation. Then shall they say among the nations, the Lord has done a great thing for them. The Lord has done a great thing for us. We have become glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, like streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with joy. They went forth weeping, casting their seed, but they shall come back with rejoicing, bearing their sheaves. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman watches in vain. It is in vain for you to rise early, to rise after sitting, eating the bread of sorrow while he gives sleep to the beloved one. Behold, children are the inheritance of the Lord, the reward of the fruit of the womb. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of those who were cast out. Happy is he who shall fulfill his desire through them. They shall not be put to shame when they speak their to their enemies in the gate. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the labors of your hands. Happy are you, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within the sides of your house, your children like young olive trees round about your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you out of Zion, and may you see all the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. And may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The sinners plowed upon my back, they prolonged their iniquity. The Lord is righteous, he has cut the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be put to shame and turned back. Let them be like grass on the housetops that withers before it is plucked up, with which the reaper does not fulfill, fulfill his hand, nor the binder of sheaves be his bosom. 
nor do those who pass by say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We have blessed you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Παναγία Σαχράν, την περευλογημένη σε δόξη δεσπίνη, Σιμών Θεοτόκου και Παθενό Μαρία, με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μημονεύσαντε, εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζήνη μου. Χριστό του Θεό, παραθόμεθα. Κύριε. Lord our God, remember us, your sinful and unworthy servants, when we call upon your holy name. And do not put us to shame as we anticipate your mercy. Please, Lord, grant us all our requests that lead to salvation. And grant that we may wholeheartedly love and fear you and do your will in all things. For you are a good and loving God, and to you do we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and my supplication. If you should mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For there is forgiveness with you. For your name's sake, I have waited patiently for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor are my eyes raised high, nor have I walked in great matters, or in things too wonderful for me. If I have not been humbly minded, but exalted my soul, like a weaned child against his mother, so shall you requite my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Lord, remember David and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, and vowed to the God of Jacob, I will not come unto the dwelling of my house, I will not go up unto the couch of my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes, or slumber to my eyelids, or rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of the wood. Let us go into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you in the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall be clothed with righteousness, and your saints shall rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn to David in truth and will not annul it. I will set up upon your throne one from the fruit of your body. If your sons keep my covenant and these my testimonies that I shall teach them, their sons also shall sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has elected Zion. He has chosen her for his own habitation. This is my rest forever and ever. Here will I dwell. For I have chosen her. I will abundantly bless her gates. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation and her saints shall rejoice with great joy. There will I cause a horn to bud for David. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon him shall my holiness flourish. Behold now what is so good or so pleasant as brethren dwelling together in unity. It is like oil upon the head running down upon the beard, Aaron's beard running down upon the collar of his garment. It is like the dew of Hermon, which descends upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing lie forevermore. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. And the night lifts up your hands to the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. O Lord, extolled by the holy hosts with never silent hymns and never ceasing doxologies, fill our mouths with your praise to ascribe greatness to your holy name. Give us a portion and inheritance with all those who fear you in truth and keep your commandments, 
at the intercessions of the Holy Spirit, of us and of all your saints. For you are our God, the God of mercy and salvation, and to you do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Oh, Lord, it martyrs of the Lord, blow the earth. 
concealed you not, but rather heaven received you, and the gates of paradise welcomed you and opened. And as ye now dwell therein, ye joyfully partake of the tree of life. Thus intercede, we pray, with the Master, even Christ the Lord, that he grant peace and great mercy to our souls. No, no. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in my supplication. O Lord, by the prayers of your divine apostles, enable us to properly keep the Lenten season with compunction of mind and with a heart contrite. O good and merciful one, so that as we are saved, we may all glorify you. If you should mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For there is forgiveness with you. O Lord, your second coming will be great and frightening. When you will sit in judgment and pass a just verdict. Though I am condemned, I pray you not to judge me. But rather spare me, O God, at the acceptable prayers of your apostles. Let us. For your name's sake I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. O apostles of the Lord, for us on earth you are bright stars, and you make the whole wide world rich with the divinely wise knowledge of our God. We extol you in song, you in turn rescue us from temptations by your holy prayers. Guide and support us now, to observe the season of Lent this year, with youthful zeal rewarding us with the means to live out our life in peace, so that in a manner acceptable to God we may attain the holy passion of Christ in May. Offer up our hymns of praise. Abu Philakis Proyas Makrinik Dos. Abu Philakis Proyas. El Pisanto Israel Epiton Kinion. Vion Akili Dotoni. Pomoninke praotitan, ke agapinan o thefton, en gratian ametron, panihion stasin, katanaxin thian pistin erpida asfali, en simbathia pater tisamenos, O Sangelos Evios, as epitisis metasomatos, Hilarion Macarie, presveftatom sikonimon. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Blessed Father Hillary, you led a holy and blameless life. You had patience and gentleness, unadulterated love, self-control and virtue. You stood all night praying, you had compunction, hope in God. 
unshaken faith, and you sympathized with all. Angelic was your way of life while you were physically here on earth. Now in heaven you intercede with the Master on our behalf. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you peoples. Devout Father Hilary, you have been called an angel on earth and a heavenly man of God, a river of sympathy, a well of compunction, an ocean of wonders, a guarantor of those who sin, a most luxuriant olive tree of God. With oil of your accomplishments, you cheer the faces of those who sing. And extol you, O saint, whose name is synonymous with cheerfulness. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Your mind was illumined by the light of knowledge, Christ our God, overcoming the bodily passions. It remained untouched by anything worldly, and it bore the signs and characteristics of divine beauty within it, and by the synergy of the all Holy Spirit, it was clearly godlike in every way. Now, monastics delight in you, O our Father, Saint Hilary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. second mode, the 31st Psalm. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice greatly, O righteous ones. Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven. The reading is from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod opposite Eden. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bore Enoch. 
And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begot Muhajel, and Muhajel begot Methu- Methushal, and, Mutha- and Methushal begot Lamech. Then Lamech took two wives for himself. The one was named Ada, and the other was named Zila. So Ada bore Jabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He is the one who invented the psaltery and the harp. As for Zila, she also bore Tubal Cain, a smith and a manufacturer of bronze and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. Then Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zila, Hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, and listen carefully to my words, because I killed a man for wounding me and a young man for hurting me. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Again, Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore a son, and he named him Seth, saying, God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. As for Seth, to him also a son was born. His name was Enosh, and he hoped in the Lord God and called upon his name. Prokim on in the first mode, the 32nd Psalm. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. Rejoice greatly in the Lord, O righteous ones. Sophia, Orthi, wisdom arise. The light of Christ enlightens all. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Drink waters from your vessels and from the fountains of your spring. Do not let the waters from your fountain be spilled by you, but let your waters pass through your wide places. Let them be only for you, and let no stranger partake with you. Let the fountain of your water be for you alone, and rejoice together with the wife of your youth. Let your loving dear and graceful colt keep company with you, and let her alone go before you and be with you at all times. For in living with her love you will be great. Do not be intimate with a strange woman, neither cling to the embrace of a woman not your own. For the ways of man are before the eyes of God, and he keeps close watch on all his paths. Lawless women ensnare a man, but each man is bound by the chains of his own sins. Such a man dies with the uninstructed, and and is cast forth from the abundance of his own substance, and he is destroyed by lack of discernment. My son, if you assume the debt of your friend, you will deliver your hand to an enemy. For a man's own lips become a strong snare for him, and he is conquered by the utterances of his own mouth. My son, do what I command you, and you will save yourself. of my supplication when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense the lifting of Oh, oh, oh. 
heart to evil words to make excuses in sin. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense the lifting up of my hands as the all say with all our soul and with all our mind let us say for the mercy for almighty god of our fathers we pray you hear us and have mercy for the mercy have mercy on us O god according to your great mercy we pray you hear us and have mercy for the mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy again we pray for pious and orthodox christians for the mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy again we pray for our archbishop alexios for the mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy again we pray for our brethren the priests the higher monks the higher deacons the monastics and all our brotherhood in christ Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners and members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here have been piously laid to their rest as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and venerable church, for those who labor and for those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord of mercy. Let's pray this for your servants, and have mercy on us in accordance with the abundance of your mercy. And send down your compassion upon us and upon all your people who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens pray to the Lord. For mercy. 
Let us the faithful pray for the catechumen. Lord have mercy. The Lord will have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. Let he teach them the word of truth. Lord have mercy. Let he reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. Let he unite them to this holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. The catechumens bow your heads to the Lord. Lord have mercy to you, O Lord. As we will that everyone be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, look upon your servants, the catechumens, and rescue them from the ancient error, from the devil's devices. Invite them to eternal life, illumine their souls and bodies, and include them in your rational flock, over which your holy name has been invoked. So that with us they may also glorify your most honorable and majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens depart, all catechumens depart, all catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. All the faithful again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Great and praise with the God who brought us over from destruction into incorruption by the life-giving death of your Christ. We pray you set reason within us to be the good commander over all our senses, and release them from the palsy caused by the passions. Let eyesight eschew all wicked looks, hearing be impervious to idle talk, and tongues be purged through offensive words. With your grace, O Lord, protect our limbs and minds, purify our lips to praise you, make our hands abstain from evil deeds, and only do what pleases you. For, you. for to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Holy Master, exceedingly good, we implore you who are rich in mercy to be merciful toward us sinners and to make us worthy to receive your only begotten Son and our God, the King of glory. For his immaculate body and life-giving blood, invisibly escorted by a multitude of heavenly hosts, will now be brought in and placed upon this mystical table. Grant us to partake of them blamelessly so that we may be illumined by them and may become children of light and of the day. In accordance with the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, and your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
sanctified and presented let us pray to the lord lord have mercy lord, good and loving god having accepted men as holy and celestial and mystical authors an offering of spiritual fragrance 
May in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. The angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, Lord in remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. If we complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful, without shame and suffering and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To the precious wisdom and knowledge. To, you, to us you revealed the ministry of this liturgy, and in your great love for mankind you ordained us sinners to offer you gifts and sacrifices for our misdeeds and those committed in ignorance by the people. O invisible King, who do great and incomprehensible wonders, glorious, extraordinary, and without number, look upon us, your unworthy servants, who are standing at this, your holy altar of sacrifice, as if it were your cherubic throne, and on which your only begotten Son and our God rests through the awesome sacrament presented here. And free us and your faithful people from every impurity, and sanctify the souls and bodies of us all with indelible sanctification, so that we may partake of this divine sacrament with a clear conscience, face unashamed, and illumined heart, and thus be enlivened by it and united to your Christ, our true God, who said, those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. With your love was abiding in us and walking with us, Lord, may we be rescued from all the wiles of the devil, affecting deeds, words, or thoughts, and become temples of your all-holy and worshipful spirit, and thus obtain the blessings you promise us and all your saints, who from the beginning of time have pleased you. And grant, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, o endis uranis, ai estituto nomasu, et fetui vasiliasu, genitituto felimasu, osu durano gebe disis, Ότι σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των και το πνεύμα ετήσου God who dwell in the highest and look upon the humble look upon all your people with compassionate eyes and watch over them and make us all worthy to partake of your life giving sacrament without condemnation solemnly awaiting your abundant mercy we bow our heads to you the grace, compassion and love for mankind of your only begotten some with whom you are blessed in your in your all holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high, and are present among us invisibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us, and through us, to all your people. Τα προηγιασμένα αγία τη Αγία. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, 
and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom.
φόβου Θεού, πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε with the fear of God, faith and love, draw near. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. your inheritance. I will bless 
us, the Lord, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. O oh, taste of the heavenly bread and of the cup of life, and see that the Lord is good. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Ah. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless evening, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, the God, the Savior of all, for all the blessings you have given us and for the communion of your holy body and blood of your Christ. Benevolent Master, we pray to you, guard us under the shelter of your wings and grant us till our final breath to worthily partake of your holy sacraments for illumination of soul and body and the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For you are our sanctification, and to you do we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Master and ruler over all, you made all creation in wisdom. By your ineffable providence and abounding goodness, you brought us to these solemn days for cleansing of soul and body, self-control of our passions, and hope of resurrection. Good Lord, who for Moses, your servant, forged the divinely engraved tablets in the course of 40 days, who else also grant to fight the good fight, to finish the race of the fast, to keep the faith intact, to shatter the heads of invisible dragons, to emerge as victors over sin, and to be ready without condemnation to venerate your holy resurrection. Blessed and glorified is your all honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ancient end. May the blessing and the mercy of the Lord come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, give the blessing. May Christ, your true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of the heavens, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praise with the apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of our father among the saints, Nectarius, Bishop of Pentapolis, the wonder worker and patron of this temple and parish, of the holy and righteous, of the holy work, wonder-working unmercenary healers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yoakimenana, of the holy martyr Matrona of Thessaloniki, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for he is good and merciful and loves mankind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. 
O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me out of all my affliction. Come to him and be enlightened and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor one cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his afflictions. The angel of the Lord shall encamp around all, all around those who fear him and shall deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all you as saints, for those who fear him have no want. The rich have turned poor and gone hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their supplication. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the face of the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them and delivered them out of all their afflictions. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save the lowly in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. The Lord keeps all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and those who hate the righteous shall go wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none who trust in him shall go wrong. I will exalt you, O my God, and my King, and I will bless your name forever and to the ages of ages. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and to the ages of ages. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Generation upon generation shall praise your works and shall declare your power. They shall talk of the glorious majesty of your holiness and shall recount your wondrous works. And they shall tell of the might of your terrible acts and shall declare your greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of your great goodness and shall rejoice in your righteousness. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. The Lord is good to all things and his compassion is upon all his works. Let all your works give thanks to you, O Lord, and let their, your saints bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the children of men your power and the majestic glory of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom of all ages, and your dominion endures throughout every generation and generation. The Lord is faithful in all his work, words and holy in all his works. The Lord supports all who are failing, falling and sets upright all who are bowed down. The eyes of all things look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He will also hear their supplication and will save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but he will destroy all sinners. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever. And to the ages of ages. Δι' ευχόν των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Amen. The Holy Trinity keep and protect each and every one of you. Have a good evening. We have, of course, next door our uh, Lenten soup, and we'll, which will be accompanied by a reading during the meal. Please come forward and uh, um, receive antidoron, and at the same time, sort of bless the food. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, bless the food and drink of these your servants. To you alone are holy now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> 